um, you know, when you do that, you don't realize how much harm you're doing. You know, mm -hmm. like I, I would look at a lot of the comments that I got, um, and it they were really cruel and very, very um, annoyingly holier than thou. And I, I would look at some of them and say, okay, let's look at like, what is to be gained from this comment? Like, who does it help like to be a know-it-all? Like, who mm -hmm. does it help? Does it help me? Does it help all my other followers following and and like witnessing the the judgment and the criticism and, and, and definitely of not knowing the other person, you know, like everyone's like, oh, well, she's a baby Christian. So, you know, you should get, cut her some slack. It's like, I'm not a baby Christian. I mean, I, yeah, I just recently got baptized, but like, I'm not like, this didn't happen yesterday. Like I have an understanding of, of a lot of the things that people are talking about. Like, I'm not going to dress like how you think I'm going to dress, like nothing's changing in that department. Like even like with like the, the, you know, the music that I make or, or some of the content that I make, it's like, it's not, it's not for you. You know, it's not, it's not for you. You have no idea how many DMS that I got from like other goth kids that are in the same boat as I was. They're going, man, I'm at this crossroad and I want to go back to church, but like, um, I don't have a church to go to, or I feel like, like even within my own family unit, people, have like I'm an outcast and like and I'm trying to make my way back to Jesus but like these people you know like yeah. they, thank you for doing that you know and it's like so I don't have any intention on like like conforming to what somebody's like uniform or what their idea of darkness is you know because I don't I, I don't think I'm a dark person I have I wear dark clothes but like I like people's I like definition of darkness is a lot different you know yeah. like like what's dark to you might not be to me like yeah. i'm not i don't i'm not scared of death like i talk about it all the time my entire career was based on that you know i tattooed portraits of dead people on their loved ones for decades and yeah. like so i've read every grieving book i've read every bereavement book i've read like you know that's i think death is something that like we should be able to talk about and you know when i see a skull i don't think like oh that's demonic i just it's just not for me but right. if it triggers you spiritually then keep scrolling you know like or don't listen to my music or whatever it is but yeah. but i think that like the the amount of like critical christians on my instagram now have become such a a turn off to people who are actually seeking god that like yeah. i had to just block and delete like even if it's good stuff i just like if people talk about i just this is not for you you know yeah. and it's like you end up pushing people away and like the one person that i think about through all this is my husband you know because when we got together we were both not christian you know we got married and then he's really helped me without knowing find my way and he's not necessarily on the same page i mean in some ways he, he is you know he's very supportive we go to church together you know every every sunday my he always supports me we pray together we do, but there's parts of him that's still questioning and like after that getting so much grief from people that spilled over into my, my husband he was like i remember the next morning he was like babe i, I don't want to be a part of that yeah you know and, and it like I'm trying not to get emotional because it's like I've been working for years, like trying to like lead by example and share what I, you know, the the step my own stepping stones with him to like hopefully one day he can come to me and say, hey, guess what? Like I've given my heart to Jesus. That hasn't happened yet. But when you when you have like an entire community of people like attacking you, like man, like you're, you know, not to say that my husband is like you know, going to do something based on a comment on Instagram, but when it's getting amplified so much, like yeah. it turns people off, you yeah. know, and, and not everyone's like that, you know. So these Christians criticizing Kat Von D are actively being an anti-witness to her husband because she has not accepted the external conformity and behavior modification of looking the part. Mm -hmm. She doesn't look the part. And so she gets hate online because she looks darker. She's actually reaching a, an audience that the Christians criticizing her aren't reaching. 
but just because she doesn't look the way they think she should. They criticize her and her husband is resistant even more so to being brought into the fold of Christianity. Yeah, my question is, what do I don't know, what do they think she should look like? Let me show you. So, 